Hi there guys, we're still on the subject of water reading and today I'm going to chat a little bit about troughs. When do I personally fish them, when do I like to fish them and how do I identify them. So the way I see a trough is when I walk onto the beach and I'm standing on the sand and the water goes deep from the sand, runs out to sea and you've got a solid sand bank at the back. So that water between yourself and the sand bank is normally quite deep water, that's what I call a trough. And a trough can be very long sometimes. It can be anything from a few hundred meters to kilometers long. So what species would I target within a trough? As I said, along our coastline there are different species. But if I have to think of the KZN coastline for instance, there's a lot of fish that like to hug the shore. And there's a reason for that. They're scared to go out there because it's game fish that wants to eat them. Then there are other species that actually hug the, the shore for feeding purposes. Species like cob, stumpies and kingies, they are there to feed. So they'll either feed on, on species like crab and sea lice or small little fish that are hiding in this little bit of white water on the beach um, where they feel safe and they don't want to go out to the deep. Other species that feed and hide along the shore are species like shad. Shad often feed in the shallows and in the trough and that's where I would target them. Find a nice little area within the trough where there's a bit of working water on the beach and you'll find the shad are sitting there. They're also feeding, but they're also hiding because they don't want to go out to the deep because they're going to get eaten by the game fish. So troughs, when I fish a trough, I often fish very shallow, right on the edge, working that churning white water which breaks on the beach, and that's where I'll most probably target my edible species. When I'm fishing for bigger fish within a trough, often you get a very, very deep and wide trough. So. When we're fishing for species like sand sharks, honeycomb rays, etc., on the Zuland North Coast, I often go down to the beach and I look for area with a very, very wide, deep trough and a sand bank at the back. I know I won't reach a sand bank on my long cast, but I'll cast towards a sand bank. And those species often feed around and over the sand bank and into the trough and they come and lie there. So, that's when you'll fish a trough, if you've got that sand bank way too far to reach, but you know there's fish on the sand bank and every now and then they're going to move off the sand bank and then they come into the hole and come look for food, whatever is there, and they'll pick up your bait. That is a very short and simple explanation of what a trough is. This is aimed at the new anglers out there, guys who are learning to fish, and I really hope this helps you. Improve your water reading skills and you'll catch lots more fish.